Welcome back to the sound for more channel and welcome back to another demonstration and tutorial. Today I have the pleasure to introduce you to Mercury 8 from Cherry Audio. Before I continue, I would like to remind my viewers to subscribe as it helps with growing the channel. Additionally, if you would like to support what I do, please do check the instruction contained in each video description. Thank you again. So Cherry Audio Mercury 8. Fantastic emulation, but much, much more than an emulation and reproduction of the famous, of course, of Olympic Jupiter 8. Sounds unbelievably good and there is lots going on. Now, I have composed something uh, very simple, like a little bit to give you a sense of what it can do. Um, there are multiple instances um, of Mercury 8. All the sounds are coming from Mercury 8, no other samples, no other uh, VST which has been added in, of course, using Ableton Live in this case. So let's listen. So I stopped there, uh, I was having a lot of fun, of course I improvised a little bit on top of that bit using this amazing uh, preset called Neon Lead, which sounds like so. Of course using a minor scale, C minor in this case. So the synth follows, of course, um, what we are used in terms of uh, UI and representation from Cherry Audio in terms of previous synths created um, by uh, this amazing developer. And um, yeah, there is lots going on in this synth. Probably one of the best, if not the best, um, so far. As you can see at the very top, we have traditional interface. Click on you and straight away create a new preset. <laughs> Nice and simple, you can save it. In here you have access to hundreds of different presets, which makes it really, really fun to use. And love the motion category because there is lots going on, really. And I love when there is lots going on in terms of synth. <laughs> Sounds good, right? Sounds really good. As always here, you have access to your onboard keyboard with different controls for your portamento, your LFO modulation. You can change how the band respond and of course you can direct it to upper and lower part because you can actually have running in dual mode, in split mode or whole mode. Of course, whole mode, you just have one sound, uh, one layer split more, uh, mode is split between two. So for example, here um, you select the lower part, change the filter, and then you can go to the upper part. And as you can hear, they are quite different because I selected, of course, split part, but you can have, have it in a whole part, so only one sound, right, for the entire keyboard, or you can have it dual, so one on top of each other, which is great. And remember, you can select it here 
in terms of lower part and upper part and you change the colors to remind you which one you are actually using right and hit that new button of course you reset it to an initialized uh, presets or configuration right you have to make a control and do redo here uh, your setting zooming in and out which works really really well the panic mode your setting for the keyboard and um, of course over sampling which works really really great with some help focus and hide extra which i this part below as you can see and you see a little bit of uh, ableton live there so in terms of uh, what it offers you can see vco one and two here by the way 16 voices of polyphony per layer which is great so that is amazing here you can change by vco your range <laughs> waveform and you can do the same on vco2 you can have sync of course if you have want to have it on and off in terms of vco1 from vco2 you can adjust the range of course fine tuning the waveform okay and here you adjust the mix practically between vco1 and vco2 can have also all of them working together you can do cross modulation you can act here on vco modulator and you can do frequency modulation you can act here based on envelope one or the lfo itself and of course in terms of envelope right here on the right hand side we have envelope one and envelope two your adsi here including control for velocity key follow and also the polarity, positive and negative. So uh, pay attention in terms of how these envelopes is, um, are used. For example, on the VCA here, it uses the envelope two to act on the level, not envelope one, which is what you might expect. And again, you can use here LFO modulation for your VCA. Nice and straightforward here on the filter, you can adjust the cutoff frequency. The resonance slope between minus 12 decibel to 24 decibel of course you can act on the envelope modulation here you can choose if that is driven by envelope number one or envelope number two right high pass filter you may want to adjust the cutoff frequency there if you prefer down here on the left hand side you have parameters for your lfo your rate your delay time the waveform used sync on and off and if it is to be re-triggered interestingly here you have an additional modulation metrics where you can choose for example here in terms of source so you can say from envelope one and then you select the destination of here you can go to pitch of vco one and you can adjust the intensity here okay and and so on and so forth here you have an adjustment to master volume, master tune, the balance, the limiter, what on and off. Here you see a nice meter. By the way, here you can adjust the upper volume pan and tune, which is also also good. Now it comes also with an arpeggio here, which is great and works as a previous arpeggio seen in synth from Cherry Audio. Turn it on. You can have it trigger by keys you can have it hold on and off select the different pattern which we have seen also in previous sims the direction up down down up up down the range in terms of octave sync on and off for the speed of course you have different assignment modes something i really really like is this display here so for example if i click unison it says here voices eight which i can act on this button at the bottom to increase up for example to 16 maximum then if i want to detune i change here by the way mode poly or mono and that can go into the tuning and then change using this buttons here or here click hold and move up and down and of course i can go back to have a multi with different options here which we have seen in previous synth I can have also a code which I can set as well or traditional poly one and two with adjustment of the polyphony here. Again, remember you can have up to 16 voices per layer, which is great. You can even give a little bit of that drift 
or analog feel for a more seasoned uh, synth. Then on the right hand side here, you have sequencer. You can turn it on and off. You can erase notes. You can add accents. You can program all the different steps and pattern and so on. I will create a tutorial for that as well. And then of course you have additional settings here, including speed, feel, chance, which you can program. You can have it to run once on the loop based on the melody. And that is why it gets really complex as well, because you have two VCOs with a lot of modulation option with an arpe arpeggiator, which uh, might be running, and also a sequencer, which might be running at the same time. But that is not everything, because of course at the bottom here it says keyboard, but if you click on effect, it changes the view here. And it's similar to what we have seen in previous scenes, you can actually select different effects per layer, upper, lower, or at global level as well. And it is as simple as click on select effect and then choose a particular effect. And the effect are magic they work extremely well each effect of course have um, its own settings which uh, again really great by the way you can drag and drop left and right and you can change of course the order of those um, effects but as i said at the beginning of the video is um, uh, probably the best synth I've seen from Cherry Audio. Definitely recommend it. This was just a quick overview, more than a tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. I have a look. It's a really fantastic, great price as well for everything it offers. And um, yeah, the most important thing when it comes to synth is how they sound. Again, I will produce more videos in terms of give you more sense of other presets which come with it, which again, they are amazing. How could you not love something like bell and of course brass? <laughs> sounds really full really really like and again i love playing with affected effects of galactic so great in terms of reverb let's go higher amazing absolutely amazing and you can't forget the basses they're absolutely full Let's go lower. Lip stack, really nice. Again, you are definitely going to spend hours with this thing. one it has a lower fire effect and then also a lush verb amazing really really great let's add that lush verb I like the touch here in terms of the background. Looks really, really amazing. Plaques, well, they're all great. I even created my own. We 
which uh, yeah which i love they sound uh, sounds really good actually so um yeah effect split as well remember and of course if you don't don't know how the split work just have a look here and then adjust it so you can see bass here and the organ up here so you have a lot of different amazing uh, split as well Juno split. Okay, I'm going to stop here for this first video. I hope you enjoyed and as always, see you next time. Bye.